So, all that's really left now to catch up to pretty much all my previous characters is to do the Temporal Portal in Dakara and possibly run over and do the ruined, um, ruined dungeon with like the puzzle in it. And of course Urkus in Tempest Peak. So we'll go off with um, the Temple Portal first because I think that's easier of the free. And just before we go, I'm just going to think about what I've got in here. I've got a bunch of stuff in here, but I'm wondering if I'm ever going to use any of this stuff. Uh, we've gotten past the point where I, don't, I think I'm even going to bar keeping this anymore. It's clarifying Copper Amulet. And this is nice, but I just beat Rampha, right? So I don't see myself ever really using this either. Nah, I don't need to con. And then we got this, which gives me confusion immunity, fissile saves. Uh, again, probably not ever going to use that. I'll keep that for strength because, you know, I've been using strength equipment, or I'm using uh, equipment for boost my strength when I need to. I'll keep this for the high dex and cunning I'm going to get from it. Uh, this, I don't really need to have two of them though. Okay, here's the thing. Am I benefiting a whole lot not wearing this? I, I suppose I like this for like the maximum life because why I'm wearing it right now, but I might want to wear that. So we'll want to keep this. Emblem of Invasion, I'm thinking about it too. Um, I don't think we're ever going to find anything better than this compared to like this, so we're not going to keep the Emblem of Invasion, I don't think. Uh, this is keep kept for like lightning resistance, of course, because I'm going to be fighting Urkus and he's going to require lightning resistance to deal with. This gives me the uh, forehead smack, but uh, probably not going to want to keep that. I'm well, keeping that for when I run to Invisible Post to see if I need it. I'm also thinking about this Rune of Reflection. Um, what, one thing here basically is the Rune of Reflection is pretty cool compared to say uh, some of the other stuff I've got here, but I don't really need to worry about reflecting damage because I do have such a high damage output. I don't really need the extra damage being done from it, so we won't worry about keeping this. It's a cool Rune when you get early, but it's too late now for me to really benefit from it. The other stuff, the Sun Infusion, the Wild Infusion, Shielding Rune, Probably never going to use a Sun Infusion, so we won't keep this anymore. Wild Infusion, kind of cool. I'm actually thinking now of replacing this one with, the, with my Stun one. Um, stun is a concern. But... I do have 30% there. I'm a little bit, I mean, concerned about the fact that I'm going to get magical stuff soon, so. It's not a bad thing, but I might want to replace that. We'll see. The Shilling Ruin, I'll probably keep that a little bit longer. Teleportation Ruin. All of these are, I might replace, like, the uh, infusion right here of these, of this stuff. But I'm not yet thinking you know, I'm going to do it just yet, so we'll wait. And let's just jump into the Temporal Rift and I'll do this. This shouldn't be too hard. I didn't have too much trouble with my other character. It's sort of waylaced at anything that got close. Go here. Knock him back. Almost kill him. You're dead. Wow, I do a lot of damage with this sling. Alright, this is a good time to start reloading. I think this is through. There's a guy coming down there. Um, boom, 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 boom. These things are definitely worth using. You know, I'm thinking about this. I actually have the... Um, uh, surefire bow on my other character, but if I'm doing so much damage with um, 
I don't have any. If I ha but if I found any like arrows, I'm not, probably not gonna bar switch into them because it's too late at this point to really make use of it. So I'll just note that right now. This other stuff, physical. I wonder if I really need to keep this on anymore. What happens is when the wearer is hit, I do 15 damage of blight to stuff, and I get arm penetration. But I get like the other stuff here. Try trying it all out, see how it works. I'll try to show you guys this off. Oh, we'll wear it. And okay, put this down here too. Like two hotkeys, or it has to be. All right, so we got hockey there and hockey there. So I'll show you off that. Okay, there's this guy. Let's just activate this to show it off. So, I activate this, it uh, reduces all incoming physical acid damage by 77. So, whenever I take a hit, the damage gets reduced by 77%. And as you can see, it's taking me three turns to water anywhere in here. Very careful of that. Let's do this. Stun you. And he's gonna hit me with turn back to clock. Can't really deal with, I can't really do anything about it. He's just gonna hit me with it, so. Just get hit. Oh, let's just try and get through this area. I want to be careful moving in here, but... Let's go here. Okay, one of them got to me. Let's do this. Shield. So you see it's like hitting me for like no damage. Because this thing right here is blocking all physical and acid damage, so... They can't do anything while it's active, basically. I used to think that these like, you know, totems and stuff were weak, but they're actually kind of strong if you know when to use them. And, you know, right now is a good time to use them because... It reduces damage. I got stunned there. One I got up there. Heal up a little bit. Move down. You're dead. Kill you. You're dead. Took a little bit of damage there from something. Uh, switch this. You're dead. There's the exit. There wasn't all that many guys in here. And you're apparently blocked off, aren't you? Yep, you're blocked off. Can't get to you. off, let him get closer, instant kill you. Zero gravity is pushing these guys back whenever I hit him, so. Alright, hit him. Don't know why they're getting so many hits on me. Maybe it's because, um, my uh, global speed speed is not my movement speed. What's this do? Movement is three times as slow. Oh, it's just moving as slow, so it's not global speed. I don't want to hang so hard, but... Whatever. Let's just get out of here and get into the next area. So, of course, we got the... Um, stuff in here to deal with. Here's a guy that's definitely something I want to use um, the Umble Dagger on. So... We'll wear you, so I can hit him. And we'll... 
kill him instantly pretty much. You'll hit easily enough. I'll actually test to see if I'm accurate against those or not. Those um, uh, dodgy type enemies there. Okay, they're both see me. I want to do what? And you know what? We're actually going to move some of this stuff like this. Seems like appropriate for it. And activate this. We'll activate the shield. I'm going to zap you once of this. Wait for you to get close. You're going to get closer or not? There we go. I shrugged off the stun effect. Cool. I'll take that. Activate this. We'll hit you with a stun myself. And then we'll just weigh into you. Not doing a whole lot of damage to him. If it this got the little twenty. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Nothing to hunt. Alright, well I'm level twenty, let's make use of all this stuff. We're going to put the um, point, carry point here, I think, into mobility. So I can, you know, start training this up with my generics when I get the chance. Class points over here, we'll drop one here, just get that maxed out. Drop that here. Only one more point, I'll have, you know, this tree pretty much done and over with. We'll continue focusing on getting Khan up. So I can get, like, the point in here where I need it. Let's turn this off for now. I don't really care about that stuff. And into the next map we go. Are you past Rift, blah, blah, the Car Mountains. Alright, we got a Temporal Stalker over there. What's above us? Uh, Dregsling. Wild speed. Well, he, let's see if I can hit him. Okay, I hit him just fine. I don't even need the accuracy boost. I don't think I'll have trouble when I get to uh, stuff that's going to require me to think about that. There's Rampa the Abomination. Let's activate this. Cast slow, whatever. Put the protective shield on. I could try rushing her, but it's probably not a good idea too. So let's just move out. Apparently get hit really hard and get stunned. Let's just run away for the moment. Hmm, I slowed quite a bit there. This, uh, heal up. There's Rampa. I got four turns on this, but that's fine. Let's hit you with this right away. You tried to freeze me. Do this, start healing up. And there we go. Let's see if I can stun you. Resisted to stun. Resisted to stun. Dead. And you froze your friend over there. Ow. Stunning is a real concern to me. There's a Void Horror. Activate this, activate this.
All dead. Two of those guys are together means there's a dredge captain. Let's activate this, activate the shield. Darkness. Sweep. Do this. And we'll start doing this. You're almost dead, so we'll kill you. Um, you are dead, but you're in a frenzy, so you're not going to die. Let's just um, stun you, I guess. You're also in a frenzy, so you're not going to die. Someone die? Die after frenzy ends? Ooh. Let's see if I can deal with these guys in front of me. Let's do this to get rid of those. I'll be plenty careful of these guys. I find that these are the more dangerous enemies that I'll be facing in here because I've been killed by rares of these guys and they're just not fun. Plus they, you know, explode upon killing them. I seem to have no trouble hitting those guys. Do I have blind fight? I do not have blind fight on anything, I don't think. So I must be doing a really good job hitting stuff. Finish off everything else in here. And we're down to the last fight. And here's where we fight the boss that you guys didn't get to see. Let's see here. Recording still on? Good. Let's see if it keeps on. Let's go. He's fired at me, so he's going to come to me. I'm going to activate this now. Activate this. Taking a sweet time to get to me. Oh, he's coming up to me now, I hope. And let's do this, and we'll do this. And there he is. What's him with darkness? You get a propulsion blast knocking me back. I'll actually wait right in the corner then. See, he's going to walk up to me. And there he goes. I've got... Aha, uh -huh, i got a magical thing right there. Whatever. Um, activate this. We're just going to stun you. It's too bad I got the mage, I guess. This is the bad thing. If you get them, like, you know, together like this, this is where it gets troublesome. Because they, like, um, do stuff that, that can kill you instantly, pretty much. Let's just step here. Hit them both with this. And I'll do a stun. A flurry. Flee. Turn back to clock. Preferably I don't want to be hit by that, so let's just move away. And Goody's following me, so hit you. Hit you with darkness, he's still stunned. Move forward. Too bad the other guy moved away, but they're fighting. They're going down slowly. Okay, you're out of the way. Let's activate this. I'll activate this. Behind a hide, a rough hide made from mass beast, seeing as a wetter, but still usable, maybe make it special. Do this. Can I fire at you? You're far too far away. And you're running away, so let's just go over here. Wait for you to come to me. And do this. I'm apparently not wearing the object to use this. Right, because of the dagger. So let's just hit him with the sling. Sling. 
sling. I think it's haste danger at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Let's go here. Let's switch weapons. I'm going to hit this, this. Let me get closer. We're gonna haste right to him with movement. Go right here so he can't move away, and boom! Done. Got the Ruin of Rift, Master of Ruins we can survive nearby. And it's a great time for uh, finish the recording, I guess, because I gotta take, finish the recording. So we'll just end the recording here, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, battle. I suppose the good thing about having to cut the recording there is the fact that I was already done. Let's just get in here, then. Okay, so um, I managed to pick up a couple things. They're on here. We picked up Drake's Bane, but that's no good because I'm not a two-hander. We got the Steels, Steel Ring of Pilfering. This gives me disengage if I want, uh, as long as uh, physical save, con, defense, but I don't really need it compared to the other stuff we got here. This stuff is just really nice to have on at all times, so we won't worry about it. This other stuff, the Robe of Force is an, um, an awesome item, I'll actually compare it to our current one. I'm actually wearing the Robe of Force on my other character, just to, just to drive home the point of how powerful it is. Um, this other stuff, Strength and Con, I don't really need to have two items for that or whatever. Behind, we'll, we'll test out the current other one. This hits a bit higher with base power damage, but this hits with um, ammo reloads per turn, I guess. One damage hit does 16 uh, mind damage, but does a burst damage on hit to 4 light. It's, this is a nice weapon, I guess, but it's just not that nice. Do you get more? It's just, it's, this is just nicer because it's a brand art. Alright, let's compare this to other stuff. So we got the Robe of Force, we got the Behemoth Hide. Behemoth of Hide offer, offers me uh, armor defense, range defense, gives me knockback immunity, maximum coolness is increased by 20, life regen, maximum life, maximum stamina, size category, stamina, and the Robe of Force gives me more armor, more defense, gives me cunning and will. It changes my resistance for physical and acid, giving penetration for stuff. It gives me a physical save, which is where where it's really nice. That's where I really want it for, because you know it'll help me prevent myself from being stunned. But looking at this, this is actually really nice too. But this requires 22 strength. This is where strength will be important to wear this thing. So do I have it? Put that on. And what else can I wear to up my strength just temporarily? Oops, the other hat was used for strength, wasn't it? Well, let's give you a little bit of strength, but the other thing was also used for strength. Let's see how my. Uh... Okay, I do have 22 to wear that, so I can put this on. This thing here is nice, but. Well, I suppose the mental save is what I'm really hoping for right there. What's my confusion resistance like now? Oh god, it kills my mental to take that off. Uh, hmm. The half saves or the not half saves? That's the question. 21 mental saves is just really, really high to give up. But though, this is nice to have for everything else like maximum life, maximum stamina. Uh. We'll keep this, but I guess I'll keep this too, for now. Robo Force is worth keeping, I guess, but uh, we're mostly we're basically keeping the Robo Force and the Lightning Iron Mail of this for their saves on the bonus when I need them. Not sure I'll ever use them, but they're there. Eh. Build these. That's still wearable, apparently. I think the um, armor itself is also giving me a bonus of strength, so... Well, I got enough strength to wear it, so that's good enough. Let's just get out of here, be happy, be glad. I can explore here, can I? Whee! Done. 
Didn't have to explore, but I felt like it. It's such a nice thing. But it's no good to me anymore. Because I'm not using a two-handed weapon. I'm gonna keep this for the strength boost. Because I can get free strength from that instead of like one from here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this tempest w um, wasp on right now because we're gonna be doing um, all the uh, lightning horrors and all that, or elementals and derf, and then going to tempest peak and all that. So I'm not sure if I've shown you this yet, but. I know I've done with anti magic with doing a Tempest Peak, but I'll do the uh, angle and way the other way. So let's get back out of here. And, well, let's get down, going to Durf, I guess. So Durf is under siege. Let's go save Durf. As you arrive at Durf, the huge cloud, blah, blah, blah. Let's put on... This isn't going to help me against those things, because... I only do like 2 million of that, but this thing will do 15 and all that. What have I got here? I can even get strength from this thing here. Cool. I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, let's put this on for now. Just get my boost and uh, damage from hit. Wait for you to get up to me. What is my lightning resistance right now? Only 9%, so I've got like no lightning resistance on myself at the moment. When I get hit by lightning, I take a lot of damage. And I gotta be careful of it. No water breathing, but whatever. My cape offers lightning protection, that's more useful right now. Let's see here. Hit you a little bit. Oops, I got the wrong things equipped there. Heal up a little bit. Let's do a swipe. You're both dead. What you doing down there? Activate this for now. Ow. Boom. So you get close, kill you. Got two more over here. Activate the belt. Closer. Roundhouse. Go up. That's it. Be at ease. I was stuck. These monstrosities. All right. So that's out of the way. Actually, you know what? Let's go back into Durf. I'm going to um, do something I don't usually do in my episodes. We're going to go look for equipment to buy. I say I don't usually do this because I like to save my money until, you know, level 25 when the uh, price, uh, or when the um, things get capped out at like, you know, tier. That's like, when you get to level 25 in your character, that's when equipment will start capping out towards you. 
it basically scales depending on when you enter the shop and then doesn't scale further past that. But I need to, you know, think about... Jewelry, we'll go in here. Well, there's some stuff for gems and all that, but I don't really care about this. I'm supposed to sell this stuff though. Sell that for 24 gold. Sell that for 24 gold. Say two gold. Three six. Sell all this stuff. I don't use gems, right? So I'm not going to borrow them. All right. Death from afar is the bow shop. Don't really care about that. There's the alchemist. Don't care about him at the moment. Um, we want to go to the tanner for the light armors. What do we got here? We got some... Better pair of boots of uh, tirelessness, blah, blah. That has a little lightning on it, but not a whole lot. So nothing really has lightning resistances in the tanner shop. Though I can go in here too. Maybe I'll find... Nah, there's nothing in here. One of the head I had suffering, but nothing. Let's go in here, I guess. So here's some daggers I could possibly get. They're all pretty weak. Now let's just go in here then. So if I go to uh, get a ruin, we've got some regeneration ruins in here. Healing fusion. Nothing really fresh my mind there. All right, so let's just uh, go have fun in towns, I guess. Maybe this would be an episode of me just managing equipment. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, go up here. Floran Hunter. A stern looking guard, he will not let you disturb the town. And while there is his skin covering green moss. That looks like the tanner. So from here, we got 16% uh, lightning resistance from his armor. But I think my current armor is better than that, so we won't look at the armor so much. I mean, if I look at my armor, I'm getting a lot of life, right? So. This is just probably definitely worth keeping on. Knockback immunity is probably worth keeping it on. Don't care about that stuff. I guess we'll look at the other stuff while we're here. Herbalist. So there's some fusions in there. No regeneration infusion. There's a Mindstar shop, I believe. Oh, torques and totems. Hmm, interesting. Russian claws. Nothing in here seems to reduce lightning damage. This would be the most useful thing for me to use. What's over here? Anything else? Swordsmith, don't really care about that. Don't use swords. There's a bow shop. Nature's Punch, and that's maces. Doesn't seem there's any dagger shop here, so we'll keep around in here, so. Out we go. I'm for the lands now lost. I don't think I've read this before. You see a moss covered statue in the floor and reciting a poem over and over. Where bright and buried you, you do stand, where eldest oaks grew so grand, 
Whence singing birds once flew to land, all is dust, is all is dead. Once flowers rose to reach the sky, once blossoms fell from be beach on high, once rush and owl the screeching cry, now all is lost, now all fled. Oaths from Shalorans may sworn, yet spells of fairy races born, our lands are begun, ace is torn, gone is trust, wrath is red. So yes, the Shor the Shor and Floran don't like each other too much. For obvious reasons. Where are we having barbecue? Get off the computer! Yeah, okay. And we're going to be having dinner soon, as you can see. Anna said I need your pen to sign so that it all is the same. I don't even bother to turn off the um, recording anymore. Nothing there of interest to me, really. Zigger is always a good job to get anything that you know you might need. That's uh, well, you know, there's any sort of material that isn't a ruin or magic because you can find it here. But unluckily, there's nothing really catch my eye or really standing out as useful. You can get Mind Star training from him. Or you can get the Torx and Mind Stars from him. Uh, it can be used to absorb and nullify at most four detrimental mental stats effects at the next ten turns. How would that work? Sounds cool, but no. There's nothing in there that can reduce lightning damage. The library has uh, just a you know there to great evil. You find like ruins in libraries, but not here because Zigger. Uh, hands. Mm, that one gives maximum life. What's my current uh, hand slot doing for me? Not you know a whole lot compared to this. I like getting max life. Um, it gives me cunning, accuracy, armor. You can use the sense foes around your race 13 for five turns. I don't really care so much as the sensing part, but just being able to get maximum life is just cool. I probably won't be doing Tempest Peak, and um, I wasn't talking to this because there's so much stuff in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but whatever. We're going to uh, basically. I'm, I saw there's stuff in there I possibly want to get, but we're going to go check the other shops first, like uh, in Lost Hope and in the uh, Elven City of uh, Elvia. And this we're going to check, you know, that gear against this gear. 
I'm getting possibly some Zigger. Because Zigger looks like where I'm going to get most of the equipment I'm fighting from. And since I'm going to be here for a while, I'm going to turn on the auto. Like, off. Alright, so you can get Marshall Train here if I'm looking for. So they can give you, like, you know, combat training for 50 gold and basically use of bows and slings. No thanks, I've already got that pretty much, so don't worry about it. Let me see your wares. Give me shots. You can give me slings. Nothing in there will really catch my eye as before. Herbal infusions. I'm just gonna close the door. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can certainly hear everyone else talking. We're gonna have any dinner here soon, so I was just doing these quick episodes. Um, I know that there's a movement infusion over there that gave me a little bit of a boost, but it was only a little bit of boost. So I didn't bother buying it. I'm not gonna waste my money unless I really need the stuff, right? Because it's always gonna be, you know. You're going to be um, getting, finding better stuff as you go along. Ruins! Invisibility ruin, massive search ruin, shielding ruins, teleportation ruin, the duelist. Activate just to teleport range to 77. Well, that's a lot of teleportation range, but I don't really need that much. I don't think. This one gives me 58. That's pretty good. And it's going to go up with my constitution stats, so it'll still be good. Library. I don't think I ever uh, read this stuff from this pot, perhaps. Maybe I'll do this at some point. An episode just to read that lore. Should put in my early beans, but I'll put it there anyways. So you can offer combat training for 50 gold or basically just bows. Combat training, no thanks. I think I already have combat training. Yeah, so there's combat training. You can get that if you don't have it. That's like for mage characters. And then for bows, for everyone else. Um, he's not going to be open ever because, you know, I sided with someone. Uh, I can replace belts ever. And you get quite a bit of resistances from cloth items. Oops. Let's see what we got. So, feet, hands. This one gives me life regen 0.70, stand regen. Give me steady shot. So, if that was, you know, if I was like an archer, that would give me you know, a ability to do steady shot. The other stuff. Our stuff's okay, but nothing awesome, really. Let's activate this on the way out. So it looks like I'll be buying some gear and zero, but I'll check Elvia first. I could check Angolin as well, but usually they only have like ruins and jewelry that's worth going over there for. So this, this way, there's this guy to deal with. There's the Ruined Dungeon. I'll be visiting sometime soon. So in here we go. We got the Ruined Master. That's where we can get our ruins, of course. Face Door Ruins galore and Master's Ruins, but nothing else. That's arguably laughable. Um, there's something that could give me a lot of saves on my cloak. 
maximum life. But nothing in there really worth caring about. I'm using like, you know, this current one right here for the lightning resistance. If there's nothing really better than that, I'm not gonna really care about it too much. Swordsmith. Shady Library, of course. Staff Carver. Don't need staff, so we'll go there. Uh, feet. Zero, so I can get a bit of stamina, a bit of lightning. So the stuff that may make the day for me will be in Zeger. What's this do? Inflict uh, temporal damage. If the target survives, it'll be sent four turns into the future. Uh, this is a good thing, but as I pretty much already stated, I already have enough offensive abilities. I don't really need to add more. I'll try to add on a, on a you know, character I'm not so sure with. Though probably the character I'm not so sure with won't need to survive this long, but whatever. Let's go to Ziggur. I'm gonna buy those gloves that give me like the hit point boost, I think. Because that sounds like it'll be useful. Getting you know, over 600 HP for a guy who hits like a truck. And he will hit like a truck because um, I'm going into this with absolutely like no lightning resistance against him. Which is probably suicidal in all bets to it. I'm going into Ziggur now. I'm not sure if uh, Ziggur becomes unaccessible if you side with Anguin or not, but I know if you side with Ziggur, then Anguin becomes unaccessible, so there's that. Go this way. Don't want to go to the dagger shop. We want to go over here to the leather shop. So we got this right here. This gives me 60 maximum life. The other stuff is okay, but. Really, this is going to help me a whole lot, so we'll get this. These were nice and all, but they've run their course. They're to be replaced. And that's just so much better. In all accounts. We won't keep these. Alright, the boots... There's some good boots here too. This one gives me lightning resistance and evasion, but I don't really care about it that much. 7% is not enough to tip a battle, right? Um, this other stuff. This could give me um, rushing, so I could rush toward Urkus. And having rush would be kind of beneficial. I don't currently have rush because, you know, I'm a rogue. I don't start with rush unless I get the town category. I have this, but I haven't really used Disengage. I don't really need Disengage, I don't think, so... We'll get Rush instead. And we're going to put on the Boots of Rushing. So that gives me, um... A little bit of Strength, a little bit of Con. It lets me Rush. Doing damage when I hit them. Don't need this anymore. The other stuff I don't really care about. Hmm. This actually had good armor and defense on it. Anyhow, let's just get over to um, I suppose free, free maximum life on this is best better than most stuff I can find. I'm pretty much geared up, I think, as well as I'm going to get to. I could try and check for amulets, but that's something to do in Anglin, and we're going to go there in a moment, so let's just do that. Maybe I'll combine this into uh, the video with the um, Temple Portal, since this uh, the other video was kind of short. And I sort of am, you know, is tying up the episode. Okay, I'll put this over here, actually. And put this right here. That right there. And...
and I don't need you anymore. You right there, I guess. Reload right there. Alright, let's go to angle one. So up to angle one we go. Let's check the spore the entire place. We up we go. And we got the jewelry shop over here. What's this tools of art? Staff training, so that probably staffs. Staffs and wands. And then at this stuff we got the library where we can get ruins. Teleportation rooms galore in here. Nice shooting rooms right there. That's a cooldown of 16, lasts for four turns. What's my current one do that I have in storage? I suppose um, this isn't. Well, if so as I need to, I can come back and get the rune from here. That's definitely good shielding runes. You don't usually find good shielding runes um, in stores, and I just found one, so it's a good one to consider if I want to. I really have a good infusion rune. That's not that much better. This is definitely worth getting. 332, cooldown of 12, heals over 5 turns. I think this is definitely worth buying. Cure physical. Uh, it's it's okay, but I like to cool down to 12. I'm really using the infusion to get rid of uh, you know stuff, not to protect myself. If I had a uh, cool down to 12, I'd probably be getting it over it just because, but whatever. I'll have to see what special jewelry means in a moment. So here's some amulets. Nothing really good in here. Actually, this is kind of cruddy. Really cruddy. So I got that uh, regeneration ruin here. We'll use this over that. That'll help out a lot for my new HP cap. I'm gonna wanna replace this uh, healing room with something better soon. I'll probably replace the healing room with this. And then, you know, have that as the alternate ruin. But we'll worry about that later when I get to it. I require help. And... I need to for myself, or... That will send me there. Why not? Look we'll to the entrance of the uh, Tempest Peak, and then I'll come back here. Alright, so that's it for this episode. I'll probably combine this, these, this video with the last one. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see where I go with this character in the near future.